Drum Room Soundproofing Objectives Treat room to prevent sound of drums from disturbing the neighbors. The property is an historic house located in Arlington, Virginia. The drum room is located in the basement. The basement is partially below ground with two windows facing the street. The basement walls are stone, there is a fireplace in the basement behind the drum set, and the fireplace is not being used and is not intended to be used. It appears that the dumber in the smoke chamber of the fireplace is broken. The ceiling of the basement is untreated. Approximate room dimensions. Room height, 7 feet. Area around the drum set, 6 feet by 12 feet. Windows, 43 inches by 21 inches, with wooden beam in the center going down to about 14 inches. Potential areas where the sound can leak into the neighbor's apartment. 1. Fireplace flue. We did not have access to the neighbor's apartment, but traditionally the way the fireplaces are built in the apartments is that they share the same chimney, meaning that the flue for each fireplace is individual, but the brick-laid chimney is adjacent to one another. Any tube-like channel, like a tunnel, tends to conduct and amplify the sound. Number 2. Windows. The windows are the least soundproof area and the sound will definitely leak through the window to the outside. The neighbor has windows facing the street so they will hear the drums. Number 3. Ceiling. The basement ceiling is not connected to the neighbor's floor and, in our opinion, it will not be as critical as the two other areas, but the sound will go through that floor and there is another fireplace that can possibly channel the sound to the neighbor. Additional Considerations Sometimes the basement has water seeping into it. Even though it was waterproofed, the water still comes in and flows on the floor into the drain in the middle of the room. There is a number of different sound absorption and sound blocking materials and techniques that can be used to prevent sound transmission from one side to the other that are different in cost, efficiency, and appearance. What can be done specifically for this property taking into account all requirements and conditions? 1. Reduce the sound energy inside the room by introducing sound absorption materials, and 2. Seal all areas that allow the sound to leak out of the room. Sound Blocking Options the principle of sound blocking approach is to cover all openings and potential areas where sound can leak with airtight barriers made out of heavy materials. Window Treatment As we discussed, the treatment has to be removable and not permanent. Therefore, we suggest making a panel with sound barrier backing, mass-loaded vinyl or MLV, with acoustic felt layer facing inside the room. To provide rigidity to the structure, the MLV and the felt panels can be attached to a sheet of plywood cut to size. These panels can be removed or installed as needed and will provide estimated 40 decibels of noise sound blocking. The neighboring house does not have windows into the basement, but it has windows facing the street on the first floor, and this is why treating the windows is important. Fireplace Treatment As has been explained earlier, the opening into the chimney will transfer the sound through the flue. Even though the fireplace is made out of stone, it is still possible that the sound can be transmitted to the other apartment because dividers between two flues in the chimney are usually half the brick or one brick. We would recommend to stuff some sound absorption material such as rock wool or glass wool with mass loaded vinyl wrapped around it into the opening itself, and place a sound blocking panel similar to the panel that was described for the window treatment. Ceiling. Overhead area or subfloor can be treated by installing a ceiling. First, a liner of MLV and then regular drywall or plywood ceiling installation. Depending on the aesthetics requirements, there could be different solutions for that. The ceiling will also prevent any dust or debris falling down. A blanket can also be installed, but since there is a moisture present in the basement, I would not recommend permanent installation of blankets. The cotton inside the blanket can absorb moisture. Also, when installing the MLV in the underfloor area, it is important to install it in a way that the subfloor remains ventilated. It is important not to trap moisture in there because it can lead to rotting of the floor. Sound Absorption Options Introducing sound absorption materials in the room does not block the sound per se, but it does remove sound energy inside the room by removing reverberation. So, if the sound energy inside the room is low, there will be less getting out as well. The more sound absorption materials that are introduced into a space and the more reflective surfaces are covered, the better the result is. The sound absorption efficiency of various materials is also important. Amidst our suggestions, we recommend the use of the Acoustic Blankets Producer's Choice for this installation as a proven cost-effective and efficient method of controlling reflections in a room. There are other acoustic panels available on the market, but they are generally more expensive, more difficult to install, and less effective. Some sound absorption materials such as fiberglass and rock wool need to be wrapped up in fabric to assure that no rock or glass fibers are escaping the panels. 
Producer's Choice Sound Absorption Blankets have NRC rating of 0.8, or 80% sound absorption, if used in single layer, or NRC 1.0, or 100% sound absorption, if used in double layer. The best use is when the blankets are installed about 3 to 4 inches away from the reflective wall surface. As we discussed, you can achieve great results by simply covering the area around the drum set with a double layer of acoustic blankets. Since there is moisture running on the floor, please make sure that the blankets do not touch the floor and do not get wet. We think that 7B71G blankets, size 80 inches by 80 inches, black on both sides, will work best in this application. We can also make the fireplace cover looking like this. In conclusion, to achieve best results, soundproofing should be approached as a complex measure addressing all the possible weak points. 1. All openings or channels need to be isolated and blocked with an airtight seal. 2. Mass needs to be added to the thin barriers such as windows, doors, interior walls, ceilings, etc. And 3. Sound absorption materials should be facing the sound source to reduce sound energy within the room itself. This not only reduces the noise escaping the room, but also makes the room itself sound better acoustically. After completion of this project, the customer reported that the measures taken were very effective and he was able to play his drums anytime and receive no complaints.